and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a knockout text effect. Let us create a simple rectangle. I'm gonna give that a different fill, maybe this red. Let me use the type tool and I create some text. I'll call that knockout in all caps and I resize that. And I'll control when I resize it. So don't just drag it, it stretches the text. We don't want that. I shift click on both, so both are selected. Then object, align and distribute, last selected. And the drop down is selected and I align it to the center. You can select it both and use difference, but it doesn't work, at least for the Inkscape version that I've got. I've seen a couple of YouTube videos about it and it works in older versions, but not in the new version that I've got. I need to select the text first and then turn that into a path and then I need to ungroup it under object. And now I need to shift click on one letter individually and on the background rectangle and then use difference. And I can not shift click on all the letters and then go to object and group it. Shift click on the background and then use difference. It still doesn't work in this Inkscape version. So when you've got the same problem, always select these letters one by one after you've ungrouped it under object. And then you can use difference to create this knockout text effect. It's a little bit tedious to do it for every letter itself, but it brings it to the goal so it works. Let me create a background and you can see our text is now transparent in this rectangle box. You can also use a photo. Let me just drag and drop one and put it in the background. And this knockout text effect can be placed on top. Select the both and then export it together. And this is how you can create this knockout text effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.